Hello! Whoa! Jeez! Okay. That sounds very melodramatic. Three. One. One casualty unavoidable. You lied! You said no one has to die! You lied! We'll grow every turn. Fire can not through block deals. Okay, because that's science. At, at least the fire is polite. And See, I love that. It drowns people. What kind of fucking fire safety system drowns people? That's just weird. Is that like supposed to be symbolism or like you literally looking for a phoenix? Do you think? W <laughs> wow. Shut up. <laughs> Where do we ask him? Oh wait, nope. <laughs> You're hilarious, Steve. Yeah, exactly, Christina. I'm with you. It's not funny. Hey, simple mistake. Shut up. You're getting out of here, Chris. There's no way I'm letting- See, now you're being all, like, emotional and stuff and being less of a dickhead. No, I'm killing you. No one deserves to die. Well, no one has to die, according to the start of the thing. It'll be like a part- How unromantic. Visitor, promise me you'll save him. Promise- No. Hold on a second. Did you do this? Oh my god, you bitch. How can you want to stop something that you don't even understand? I'm gonna leave you alive just to spite you. This better not be a trick. Just that do it, eh? I'm just kind of putting eh on the end. That, that's, that's basically my Italian accent. I say the exact same thing in a slightly Italian accent, but then I just add eh on the end, or like Bambino or something. I do like that we killed Steve, because Steve was the hardest voice to do. Because <laughs> it's just like, how do I make it sound different from my voice? And it did. The Christine. Wait, how? How do you already know that? Christine, eh? <laughs> That's so lame. Wait, so he knows about her? Because I just want to die. Wow, that's kind of sad, but okay. Christina. Where is Christina? No! Illegal! You said no one had to die, and I already had to deal with one casualty is unavoidable. Now we have two? That's awful, why would you do that? You're playing with my emotions! Here's the thing, I chose this game because I was like, oh, this seems like a cool kind of interactive puzzle adventure thing. And I was like, oh, but we murdered tons of people on the last one, and we were really depressed in the other one, and now we're just like killing people, and just having people in unavoidable time loops and wanting to kill themselves, I mean, this is not the game I envisaged. Wow. I'm, I'm so happy that I decided to go in a different direction that involves everybody dying. Oh, so you're talking to us now. Wow, you're a piece of shit, you know that? You're the one who started this fire. You can't take the moral high ground. Oh, it's a bad end, is it? Well, obviously the mystery's not solved. Everyone died. That's... and of course it's a bad end. Everybody died. Son of a... I guess that's the fairest, isn't it? Well, you're the one who set the fire. So don't you try and take the moral high ground, honey. The moral of the story is everybody dies. And there's no purpose behind any of it. We are all just bags of meat. On... Spinning on a massive fucking rock. So, um... Yeah. That's nice. All in all, they bought around six million. Jesus Christ, these guys are obsessed. It was Christina Lives. Whoa, this is fucking weird, I'm confused. It work like the ones you might see in the movies. As in, it does nothing because time travel isn't real. That burn. The crowning moment, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, with our machine. No one has to die. <laughs> oh, hello! No casualties! Yes! For the first time in No One Has to Die, legitimately, no one has to die. This is a nice change of pace to find its host in its own universe. You have alerted me! <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a turnaround. Why can't we just have happiness and stuff? I'm going back. I'm going back to three. Oh no, that's not going to be good. That's going to have all temporal shit. 